Well, it's been a few years since I've made an update on my CVT tent and my trailer. And uh, some of you were asking uh, a few questions about how do I like it, any updates on any changes. Uh, and this year I finally got caught up with uh, doing some maintenance on my trailer and my rooftop tent setup. So um, here's where I store my tent in the basement uh, over the winter months. And um, when I got the rack to put it on my trailer, um, I was just excited to get it on and uh, probably should have taken a little bit more time but as you can see over the years of traveling down the road um, the welds have failed and it's just a real thin gauge uh, steel square tubing uh, so those have fatigued and uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, make another rack for the, the tent to set up on so there's the mounting brackets basically all it is is just a box thin rack um, I'm actually going to tie <clears throat> tie these two together <clears throat> excuse me with another horizontal piece to give it a little bit more rigidity so that way it's not going to be shaken back and forth but uh, so basically I'm just going to do a square box with these uh, four legs that are coming down so um, that's an update the tent itself has been working great um, I really enjoy it um, no leaks no tears no rips it's performing performing well so, uh, time to do a little bit of maintenance on it. Well, here it's uh, been about three years since I've done a video on my trailer package with my CVT tent. And uh, what I need to do now is do a little bit of maintenance. I brought the trailer out from down around my uh, deck on the back. It's just bringing it out of the for winter storage and um, got it all washed up, cleaned up. So, I'm going to go over a little bit about how it's been performing and uh, what I've done to it. Um, overall, it's been a great trailer. I've taken it on many adventures to uh, Butler, Pennsylvania for the Bantam Jeep Fest. I've taken a few trips down to the Smoke Hole, West Virginia, up into the mountains of the Pocono, Poconos. So uh, it's been great. Um, the latches have lasted. Of course, it's been just normal wear and tear. Um, everything is perform performing good. Here's how I have my rack set up. I have kind of these stake pockets, if you will, on uh, two on each side that basically the rack will slide down into for my tent. Um, the only issue I'm finding is water is laying down in these pockets and you can see some rust is it's coming down through there just kind of leaking out um, I could poke a few holes in there but then what happens is it leaves rust and stain marks down the side of the trailer so um, I guess I usually what I, I do is try to keep these covered up you can see some water laying laying in there I try to keep these covered up with a tarp when I'm not using it and then of course with the tent in it itself it kind of fills that up some water does get in there but uh, that's kind of the only Thing that I really don't like about that setup it's kind of a, a catch-22 uh, it does give me the availability if I want to do some kayaks or put something on here I can put whatever height rack that I want to all the way across and then down to that stake pocket so it is removable um, without having to actually take off the lid itself the hinges have been work working pretty good um, with the roof I put let me open it up here for you. I did put some cap padding. Um, I have a latch, have a latch right there that uh, I lock with just a regular padlock. And what I do if I do want to secure my goods and my my uh, products in there or whatever I have, I actually have a cable lock that I feed through here and I cinch this cinch this tight so that locks that portion of the tailgate. And then I have a lock here. But uh, open this up for you, and uh, you can see I have some cap tape that, that seals. Um, there is a little bit of water in here. I just actually just got done washing it, so um, it's not completely waterproof, but I think it does a pretty good job of keeping the keeping the weather out. Um, let me guess, yeah. This is my my hood prop, if you will. I have this stick that. The stick that I kind of put up there and prop it up. I had an idea to get some shocks, attach some some shocks, but 
again uh, it's a project maybe I'll do in the future but for right now I don't open it a whole heck of a lot um, if I need to take the lid off I can I those bullet hinges there will allow me to do that um, one other little thing that I may change I haven't quite yet figured out is the fenders get beat up quite a bit when I'm going down the road there's some rock chips I've had to paint these several times and kind of put a textured bed liner type finish on there everything else has been working good the tongue jack's been working good the length has been working good it pulls down the road great um, underneath no issues with the suspension I only run about 21 or 22 pounds of pressure in the tires gives me a halfway decent ride but everything's been working pretty good so just got it out again for the summer months we're gonna do a couple trips I have planned this summer um, there's one addition that I did put on I put on a receiver there that way I can put the bike rack on and take the bikes wherever we want to but you can open the tailgate here so everything's been working pretty good everything's been working pretty good so again gonna do some maintenance today with uh, getting this racks built for my tent have uh, about 21 or 22 feet of square tubing right here I'm gonna make a rack I'm gonna make them a little bit taller uh, the headroom that I have for my tent is gonna be about six foot six foot one so that way again I'll be able to remove the tent still when the uh, annex room is on I'll be able to stand underneath of it haven't had any issues with drivability with the tent being stored that high so I'm gonna just go up another inch or two to make it a little bit more comfortable to stand up in so Again, going to do some maintenance on it today and uh, get some use out of it this summer. Alright, there she is all welded up. <clears throat> kind of sanded down a little bit. Grounded down the corners. Um, not a professional welder, but I think it'll do. So I'm going to get her wiped down and get it painted, get it sat on there, so we'll uh, see how it does. Hopefully it'll do me good for a long time. Alright, here's what I have so far. Got some inch and a quarter wall tubing slide down inside there I tabbed these corners and uh, the last uh, bracket that I had or rack that I had didn't have this uh, this cross piece so I added that cross piece to it give it a little bit more stability again that way it's not gonna hopefully take some uh, some stress off the welds going back and forth but uh, again I uh, tabbed it at the corner there so I'm going to finish welding those corners bring it on down and uh, I'm going to tack it up while it's there that way hopefully it uh, won't uh, won't move when I come back pick it up off of there and uh, so I'm going to finish weld it paint it up and uh, hopefully it'll be good as new I'll be able to take the old rack off and put my new uh, my new rack and mount mounted onto my CVT tent so hopefully it'll be good for another Probably, hopefully longer, maybe five, ten years, hopefully I never have to fix it. But that's what I have so far. I'm going to finish weld it, see how it does for me. Well, my wife and I just got back from the Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival out in uh, Butler, Pennsylvania. We came for the weekend. We did uh, Thursday night through uh, Saturday night, and uh, the tent and the trailer worked great. It's about a 200-mile drive from here uh, to Butler, Pennsylvania, or uh, near Slippery Rock where we stayed. And uh, so I just wanted to give you an update on how the trailer worked. I got, uh, did some work to the, the rack. And as you can see, everything's all mounted and fastened on there. 
Um, when I do travel, I do throw my high lift jack on there just in case something happens. But um, again, the trailer performed great. Didn't have any issues with it. Um, we did have some bad thunderstorms up there. Uh, the CVT tent didn't have any leaks in it. The uh, in the sleeping area, the annex room did leak a little bit where the zipper uh, through through the zippers. Uh, the bottom of the annex room kind of has a little swale in it, and some of the water leaked in through the zipper, but. Uh, all in all, the trailer performed well. Again, pulled down the road 70, 75 mile an hour certain times uh, with no issues whatsoever. Thing works great. So hopefully I'm gonna get a lot more years of use out of it. And uh, that's it. So just wanted to give you an update on uh, the rack and how everything worked. So if you have any questions, comment below. Um, I'll try to answer any of the questions you have that I can. So, thanks for watching.